Uh, five, four, three, two, one. All right, hello everybody. Um, yeah, I'm Ryan Ford. Uh, gonna be running Donkey Kong Country 2 any percent, or sorry, 102 percent for yeah for Banana Slamma. So hope y'all have been enjoying the event. Um, I have been like looking at chat quite a bit and seeing that seems like the last run was uh was pretty wild so far. Um, so yeah, I'll do another countdown for. Oh wait, actually, is there a timer set up? I didn't even like ask. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you could have set up a timer on your uh, your end if you want to run in real quick. <laughs> I actually forgot. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you could just throw it right on OBS, like right underneath you <laughs> or above uh, you or something. That might be a lot That's of work. Cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you can. We can have a. I, I can put a timer on my phone, <laughs> and I can tell you a time. <laughs> what can't you in? Give me I'm, one second. <laughs> I'm down for that. Uh, it's the classic speedrunner, dude. I, I, I'm so used to it. Okay, ready? Count me down. Count it down. I All have right. a timer. From three, <laughs> three, two, one, go. Boom. Yeah, my bad that I uh, <laughs> didn't even think about that. <laughs> Shoot. All right, so, yeah, to talk about the run. So, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, 102%. Um, so what that means is uh, collecting pretty much everything. Um, and you have to visit all the uh, Kong family members as well. Because uh, each of them counts for 1%. Um, getting DK coins actually doesn't count for percent. But um, in the spirit of uh, like a completionist uh, category, uh, we have it in our rule set to uh, also get all of them. So here's Rambi, the first animal buddy. Um, I know casuals love him. Speedrunners, uh, a lot of us hate them. Not everyone, though. <laughs> but there is a global Twitch emote called Heck Rambi. Um, the first the first letter of each of those words is uh, capitalized. <laughs> so yeah, it's first bonus. Uh, most bonuses are pretty easy. They're kind of like... Usually kind of like mini versions of like what you learn in the level. So yeah, Cosmos. <laughs> also a uh super dope runner for uh especially for donkey Kong country 3 i saw um his uh gdq run a couple months ago so yeah i also gotta try to make sure i'm not doing like any percent muscle memory because uh there was a previous marathon i just ran <laughs> i just ran for at, at around noon eastern so uh Doing two different categories for the same game, it, it's pretty easy to uh, sometimes like mess up your uh, muscle memory from thinking of the wrong category. But yeah, a lot, a lot of this stuff is like pretty basic movement for the early levels. Um, there is like dev intended warps in each of the levels in uh, World 1 and World 2, but um, for a lot of the levels, we won't be taking them. Also, I did a uh, team a team up a team up super jump there to get into the barrel without actually team throwing. All right, in my opinion, this is like the hardest bonus in the game to do properly. Um, <laughs> that leap of faith, for example, and just like not accidentally like dancing on the ropes like left and right. Um, it's very hard to avoid when you're trying to like wiggle uh, left and right to collect all the stars on your way up uh, each of the ropes. <laughs> DNA forgot Cranky to run. DNA also a super sick runner for this game. Which, um, actually the last person that I watched for uh, reference when I was uh, learning this category. Cause um, I I've been going like down the leaderboards and like watching runners, but um, yours is currently currently the last one that I've watched so far. It's like the most recent one. So yeah, we got like the European support too. That's pretty dope. So yeah, actually taking a dev intended warp uh, to warp to the end of the level because uh, whoops, because the uh, bonus, uh, the bonus is at the end of the level for this one. So there I did a uh, what's it called? Uh, team throw super jump, also known as the big boy. Uh, to gain extra height um, in midair. 
Um, basically, I just threw Dixie into that enemy, and then I uh, let go and repressed uh, B when she was uh, coming back to Diddy. And yeah, that should be full completion for that level. Use Wrinkly. So yeah, um, to add on to what DNA said in chat, uh, the reason that it's like pretty easy to forget Cranky is that he... It's optimal to uh, find Cranky in... Uh, to talk to Cranky in World 4. Uh, because he's like on, on the path in the map movement, so you don't have to uh, do extra movements to get to him. There's also, uh, also in World 5, he's uh, on the way as well. But it's, uh... But yeah, the World 5 one is the backup if you forget the World 4 one. Otherwise, you gotta take a little bit of a detour on the most world maps to uh, grab them. Whereas the uh, other three family members, you talk to them all in World 1, since they're all, like, right in your path. Also, yeah, definitely get those donations in, everybody. Um, if so, if people just missed that that link that was posted right now, uh, I assume there's an exclamation point. Donate command. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, there I uh, exited out of the level by pressing start and select uh, right as I grabbed that bonus coin to not get like ejected out of the bonus and then have like the screen fade out and then the screen fade back in like before you regain control. So, saves about 4 seconds. They're taking a warp and I did a uh, goal swap as well. So I press select to swap the Kongs on top of the goal and um, if certain conditions are met then you can uh, swap without them uh, like actually like tagging hands and stuff. So it saves a small amount of time. So taking the warp again because uh, going down is faster. Yo, is that a donation? We did get a $15 donation from Kerplop. DKC2 is my favorite DKC game. And it's definitely because of the pirate theme. Good luck. Thank you very <laughs> much for your donation. Yeah, thank you so much. And also, uh, usually there's uh, debates when I'm in a... Whenever I've been in marathon runs about uh, the music that people like the most. So yeah, definitely uh, shout out shout out some thoughts. Uh, ideally like to see people donate for it so we can uh, have it read out also uh yeah i missed uh, exiting out of the level when i grabbed that last bo uh, bonus coin so cost him like four seconds not the worst so crow here um say quite a bit of uh, rng to him so the first two hits is guaranteed as long as you don't mess up but then after when he bonks into the nest then um it's random whether you'll get a real egg or a fake egg. And, um... It's, uh, what, 50% chance to get a real... Uh, 50-50 to get a real or a fake, so... Uh, I'm just gonna get off the nest since I lost Dixie due to really bad luck. So, um, ideally, whenever, uh... You have to have a character do their fanfare, so... Diddy's rap and Dixie's uh, guitar solo, then um, you always want to end with uh, Dixie. Because, uh, yeah, her guitar solo is like four seconds faster than Diddy's rap. So, unfortunately, I lost her, so I uh, had to do Diddy's rap. Fortunately, in this category, it doesn't lose that much time because you can get her back right here. Whereas uh, in other categories where you'd be doing a wrong work in this level, um, you would have to go all the way and get that barrel, then backtrack back to the start and do the wrong one. So it's not too bad here. Alright, so getting over those clamp-ons, uh, it can be obnoxious uh, landing on them sometimes because you uh, will drop your cannonball, so you gotta like stop and pick it up afterwards. So yeah, pretty trivial minigame there. Uh, I actually have a question for you um, yeah. about the run. So I see that you're um, moving, you're constantly doing like cartwheels and they're getting extended. How does that work? Like oh. you're, you're you're zooming across the map and I I, I know what's going on, but I, I, a lot of our viewers are probably like, what's going on? How is he going so fast? <laughs> I definitely should have talked about the movement. Yeah, so if you roll through an enemy, then your uh, roll gets extended. 
Um, you can also kind of extend it when you uh, roll off of ledges as well, onto like ground below you. Um, also, if you roll off of ledges, you can jump while in midair too. And uh, rolling is faster than running, but um, normally, if you let the roll finish, you'll just lose all your speed and uh, stop at the end of your roll animation. So we cancel it by jumping pretty much every time. So that's why I roll and jump, roll and jump, roll and jump. <laughs> uh, also, Diddy's movement is faster than Dixie's. Um, I think when they're rolling, they have the same speed, but um, when they're just running, then uh, Diddy's faster than Dixie. So for uh, most levels that are mostly horizontal, um, you pretty much always want to be Diddy instead of Dixie. No, she does have her, her good moments. Uh, Dixie has her good mo moments, like, in a lot of parts throughout the game, but uh, definitely see Diddy uh, being used more often than Dixie. And additionally, yeah, again, with her uh, fanfare being shorter, like, that's already one, like, huge plus side for her. So I'm going to try another big boy here to get to this warp instead of going above and around. Uh, which I think saves like three seconds. Also, yeah, I hope it's not too, uh, the video's not too stuttery because I keep dropping frames. I'm noticing it. You are looking pretty great on my end. <laughs> I'm watching the stream have it muted. You look great still, so no worries. All right, nice, nice. It's like bits here and there, so hopefully it's not mm. too bad. Yeah, I guess since, uh, maybe because my f whole family is, like, using the internet. <laughs> Everyone's home. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because mid midday on Saturday, so everyone's mm -hmm. chilling. Everyone's watching Netflix or doing something. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> Coincidentally, it's also both of my sister's uh, birthday today. Oh, so, happy birthday to them. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, they're both so twins, so... Oh, jeez, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they don't uh, so look alike. <laughs> uh, so what made you run, choose DKC2 over the other ones? Yo, I love the movement of this game. Like, even casually, like, I felt like the movement was a lot more uh, fluid compared to the other two. And, mm. um... Uh, I generally also like the soundtrack more of two compared to the others. So that's mm -hmm, part, that's part of the draw. Um... What, what kind of scares me from DKC1 particularly, though, is the, uh... There's a few frame-perfect tricks that you need to do that, um... I see, like, runners complaining about it, like, killing their runs all the time. So, that, that does scare me a little bit. Like the, uh, super jump runes are the famous ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was learning DKC1 for about a month, and... For some reason, I just decided to play that one because I thought that would be the easier of the bunch, but uh, absolutely not. <laughs> There's a, I, uh, I went through Peachy's guide on everything on like each level and like where to jump correctly. And it was, man, it was, the muscle memory was just insane for that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peachy's a legend. I've been watching her, her stream, um, well, back when she was like streaming a lot uh, with mm -hmm. DKC1 and uh, two runs as well. Yeah. It's the watch a ton yeah she's uh, been playing like dragon quest i think mm -hmm. she's great she's uh actually done a dkc1 run for a zelda thumb before so nice yeah we, we we definitely love peachy and she also has like a i think her pb is like a 39 flat in this game so it's like less than a minute behind world record or for yeah for any percent i bet not for mm -hmm. 102 don't know if she's run this category. I would have to ask. Yeah, uh... Shoot, I had a thought. I just forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... The reason why I skipped getting the barrel for Diddy. Uh, it's because... When you have two Kongs this level... Uh, especially the first half of this level... Lags a lot, so... Try to skip getting them also that uh mid barrel like the checkpoint barrel um if you get that especially with two kongs like it like you'll see you would see how bad the game likes so that obviously wastes a lot of time 
even with one Kong, it still lags kind of bad too, because of uh, all the sprites on the screen. Oh, and I think it has to do with like the water. Um, the water slash water changing to lava also take, takes up some sprite slots. So yeah, this bonus, I, I take it pretty safe because uh, I have gotten hit in really janky ways because uh, on guard's hitboxes are kind of janky. And uh, yeah, can lose like 20 seconds to like failing that bonus, so I take it really safe. And gonna crouch while falling off the ledge to uh, dive into the water really fast. Obviously not intended, but uh, get to exploit it a bit. And so this level, uh, so I haven't run this category for a couple months, so I've been trying today, like mostly this morning, and I have been getting like gate, <laughs> gate kept by this level. So I'm going to do some safety strats. <laughs> also, there's a donation, I think. Yep, uh, we got a $15 donation from Anonymous. They said they love DKC too. Thank you, Anonymous, for the $15. All right, I lived. <laughs> I was going to say, if I died there to put Peck Rambi, <laughs> but <laughs> I actually survived. <laughs> yeah, using uh, the dash jump and uh, doing a uh, Rambi double jump at the end by uh, letting go and repressing jump and then pressing... Uh, back to cancel the jump uh, for some reason or to cancel the dash then um for some reason gives you a double jump as well all right had to do it again there too to get into that bonus so i did a trick called move your signpost with um so if, if you're familiar with any percent there's a lot of uh getting invisible objects usually with a uh, beetle beetle clashing so, um, I did one there to, uh, oh my god, <laughs> I was having this issue too in, uh, <laughs> practice earlier, or practice run, not even, like, just regular practice. Alright, there you go. So yeah, rhinos don't fly, but sometimes we can make them fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm having a lot of trouble jumping off these balloons with Ramby. Um, I always just blame Rambi for everything, so. Heck, Rambi. <laughs> Alright, gonna show off a glitch here. Um, this does lose time, because you would normally avoid getting the fanfare, but. <laughs> like the Dixie riding Dixie. <laughs> Rip her. We live in, we live in. Uh, that, that level is still pretty slow because of those mistakes, but, like, it, it's a lot better than dying. Because, uh, trying to do that level without Rambi is, like, oh, whoops. doing the rest of that level without Rambi is, like, really slow. So, like, losing Rambi or, uh, taking a death, um, after the checkpoint, it's, like, really big time loss. Yeah, since we had to even glitch to get him through the second half of the level by moving that signpost out of the way. But yeah, again, about the uh, invisible objects. Uh, yeah, they can do stuff like corrupt the barrels to make you wrong warp, and uh, yeah, you can move certain objects that you're not supposed to move as well, like uh, the signpost. Yeah, so this bonus, um, <laughs> I think I can skip shots by shooting, yeah, okay, it's this one. <laughs> yeah, you can shoot up instead of following the banana trails to skip barrels. I, I knew about that casually even, so like, I feel like that's not really a advanced technique or anything. So yeah, flying with uh, squawks here. Um, I actually switch my grip to uh, claw style for uh, flying with squawk. Same with the uh, swimming in water uh, most of the time. So can damage boost here. Uh, plus I need to be Dixie at the start of the next level anyway, so um, it does help to just uh, take the damage. But, uh, since I'm going to be fighting the boss next, then um, when you enter a boss fight, then um, 
It gives you back a Kong if you're missing one. Oh, whoops. Alright, there you go. Yeah, so now I got Diddy back. So here's Cleaver. Um, he does have uh, some RNG elements, so after he shoots three fireballs, a cannonball will drop. And um, it's random where the cannonball will end up landing. So you want it to be uh, closer to him, generally. Uh, didn't really get great spawns, but it, it barely loses time if you get like bad spawns versus good spawns. And there's a lava fly. So you can just barely fly across um, the lava, and um, skip having to let uh, Cleaver try to uh, stab you, and then waiting for the hook to, hooks to come down, then crossing to the other side. So you can fly across and then uh, bait him to attack so that you can have the hooks down and then hit him with the cannonball. Because um, if you hit him without him doing the stab, the, the hooks still won't come down. So you'll still be stuck on uh, the side of the island that you're on. And uh, pro he'll probably hit you because he covers so much space. But more importantly, you can't get the cannonball that's supposed to be on the other side as well. Alright, so World 3. Uh, so there's no more uh, work barrels for the rest of the game. Though I hadn't been using like that many in this category anyway. But um, got more Rambi action over here. Just realized why this is the worst category because there's just so much, so much Rambi. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh wait, I was doing any percent muscle memory there. Whoops. Almost forgot about this bonus coming up. Yeah, so got uh, this guy, uh, cloak, and uh, yeah, he actually throws you your present if you uh, follow him all the way over there. So cannonball for the bonus, and uh, very very simple bonus. Destroy them all. Just kill all the enemies, pretty much. So, the second uh, pair of barrels, I'm gonna team throw over to give uh, Dixie a super jump state. So, when I take damage with Diddy and it swaps Kong, she's gonna jump uh, higher than normal. And with that, I'll be able to hover across uh, the swamp here. So, it's called Swamp Fly. And that jump getting into the bonus scares me every time. <laughs> I don't think I've ever died in a run uh, to it yet, but <laughs> like terrifies me every time that I'm gonna jump too early and get hit or something. So I'll just shoot backwards to avoid the fanfare. Alright, and now I've got... Uh, what's this level? Glimmer's Galleon. Oh, uh, if you have uh, light sensitivity, you should probably look away, by the way. Because, uh, Glimmer... Oh, what the heck? That's new. Uh, Glimmer, uh, will... Whenever he turns around, uh, the, the camera... Or, uh, when he's pointing straight at the screen, then, um, there'll be, like, a white flash. Um, I heard that they fixed it in the, uh... The, uh, VC version. Right, I think the Switch, or maybe Wii U, Wii U VC. But yeah, um, so I was trying to do that with, uh, just Dixie when I happened to die, because, um, it does save time because, uh, there's gonna be some parts that lag more when you have, uh, it's the same as, uh, Lava Lagoon, basically. The, we're lagging because of more, uh, sprites on screen, so. Uh, I usually do majority of this level with the solo Kong, but I don't want to, you know, risk another death and waste time. Oh, oops. Yeah, so this level is actually pretty hard to optimize because, um... Uh... Oh, wait. <laughs> I messed up the movement there. That's fine. Uh... Bonking into walls and like ceilings when swimming uh, slows you down a lot, so it can be uh, really difficult to uh, 
uh, to cut corners properly when swimming. So yeah, that, that mini game's just about uh, finding the correct path to go to get to the coin. It's uh, not hard if you memorize it. And then here, is there anything special I need to do? I forget. All right, gonna try to goal swap here. Oh wait, no. Actually, I'm supposed to be Dixie. I'm pretty sure going into the next level. So never mind. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking of uh, any percent when I was saying that. So re-entering this level for the bonus at the start. Um, again, since uh, whenever you beat a level, you can um, uh, exit out by pressing start and select. So uh, since this bonus and the DK coin are both uh, right at the start of the level, then it's faster to just play through the level and then um, Play through the level and then uh, do the bonus, then get the DK coin and uh, exit out instead of uh, going to get them the first time and then backtracking. Alright, so next, uh, it's this crockhead. Um, oh, whoops. Did not mean to grab that. So I'm gonna take damage here to go through these bees to get this chest, which has a really well hidden DK coin. Um, I remember casually I would, like, die there a lot, um, my first time playing through the game. Alright, so yeah, a lot of, uh, fairly tough platforming in this level. Uh, very easy to die if you, like, make a mistake pretty much anywhere. Yeah, this bonus has Squitter. Or, uh, oh, whoops, or... Community members also call him uh, Shoes the Spider. Yeah, fairly, fairly trivial minigame. I made it look harder than it is, but <laughs> it's not that hard. So yeah, uh, the latter half of this level. Um, yeah, be trying to skip over uh, jump jumping on some of the croc heads as much as I can. With a uh, roll... Yeah, the old roll and jump. Ah, uh, this one's kind of risky to do, so I backed out of it. Uh, I really didn't want to just die and then have to start from, like, the mid-barrel again. Alright, so Rattle Battle. So I gotta remember to revisit this level to get the uh, bonus that's at the start of the level. Um, I have forgotten it the last, like, three runs I've done, so... <laughs> gotta remember. I usually catch myself uh, forgetting, like, partway through the run before I finish this world, so it's not, like, too big of a mistake. But I do make that error a lot, so gotta clean, clean that up. Alright, so just jumping all the way across. Uh, pretty simple, like, just jumping and holding B and, uh... Y and, y and right <laughs> to get across that. So yeah, also, uh, so Ratley is uh, slow. He moves slower um, on the ground, so you like pretty much always want to be like jumping and in the air uh, for optimal movement. Uh, so if you're holding uh, the B button, oh, whoops. If you're holding the B button, you get to... Uh, uh, you can bounce higher for as long as you hold it. Up up to a certain limit, but you bounce higher, so you can, um... Uh, this level is important for, uh, controlling, uh, how high you bounce. Because, uh, sometimes you want to bounce, like, max height, sometimes you want to be a little short. Uh, it really depends on, uh, where you're going. So, yeah, uh, that bonus, I was doing, a, a glitch called, a. Uh, Ratley double jumps. So I was doing the short hop double jump version. Then that double jump I did there was called the uh, true double jump. Which uh, is actually a lot harder. Uh... <laughs> I just sat in front of the goal because I forgot which uh, Kong order I was supposed to have. Ah, alright. In the bonus. 
So yeah, this one's pretty simple. The skip with the team throw. Oh wait, it's not this one. Whoops. <laughs> That's a good mistake to make. Alright, and now I've got Black Ice Battle coming up. So this level is pretty difficult, and also I really don't want to lose uh, the cannonball in the midpoint of this level. Um, otherwise, I probably have to take a death and then start from the uh, checkpoint again. So yeah, uh, since you can't really see what's below you, like you have to just kind of remember uh, where you're falling. That's what makes it uh, pretty difficult to go fast. And cutting to the right. Oh wait. <laughs> And as I said that, so there's another category that I run called a uh, true ending, uh, which you don't need to do at oh whoops don't need to do any of the bonuses. So <laughs> I almost uh, miss getting this cannibal because of that. Yeah, no dedicated ice world. That's true. Because yeah, DKC one has an ice world. Oh yeah, three has like the snow. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, K3. I forgot about that. So I assume K3 is because of, like, you know, K2, like the mountain. <laughs> Unless if I'm, like, missing some other, like, reference in it. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, wait, whoops. Oh, I just kind of made this worse. <laughs> I forgot that I lost Diddy in that level, so I need to actually get him. Get him back for uh, uh, for uh, some glitches. I hope this still works because I'm uh, about to swap Kong, so this might end up being weird. Wow, what? <laughs> well, uh, dang, that's uh, really bad. Here, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I fell anyway, so I'm just gonna take a death and try again, honestly. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this is slower than uh, <laughs> just doing it the intended way. So I gotta go back to Glimmer's Galleon to get Dixie back, but... Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, like, landed on the bug. That that usually never happens that I uh, managed to land... Uh, in f or uh, not land. I, I hit the bug before I actually landed on the ground basically. And, uh, lost Dixie because of that. So here's a super jump again. For the bonus. Because, uh, yeah, normally to get this bonus, you need to, um, get an invincibility barrel that's at the, uh, it's like past the mid barrel and, um, swim down the water. Uh, so that the fish, uh, that's in there, uh, won't kill you. So yeah, this puts you back to the mid-barrel, too. Um, after completing the bonus. So yeah, uh, the super jump state, uh, basically, uh, your Kong gets a, uh, floaty state when you swap in the water. Oh, uh, this might not be good. <laughs> okay, uh, it's fine. So yeah, there too, another super jump to skip a lot of the level. Alright, another bonus. Also get to get Dixie back, which is quite nice. So yeah, just pretty much throwing the cannonballs at the enemies to kill them. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> also, exclamation point donate. Uh, do you mind if I actually talk about the charity and the prizes real quick? Oh, go ahead. Cool, cool, cool. So we are fun- this is Banana Slamma. Huh? We are fundraising for Starlight Children's Foundation. So Starlight delivers happiness to seriously ill children and their families. Since 1982, Starlight's programs have positively impacted more than 16 million children who are chronically uh, ill, terminally ill, or injured. Um, so with your help, more kids and their families will enjoy the Starlight Virtual Reality Program, Starlight Hospital Wear, Starlight Gaming, and other programs uh, at children's hospitals or facilities. Um, which is absolutely incredible. So kind of a big thing that they do is just make sure kids are 
happy while they're in their uh, long-term short-term stays while they're at hospitals they make sure that the gaming consoles are safe cleaned uh everything is proper um so they make sure just kids are just having a great time uh if you donate over 50 dollars uh throughout the entire marathon you get a uh chance to win our grand prize which is going to be an amazing gamer razor chair woohoo we all love gamer chairs <laughs> uh a scarf and hat set by mojo which is a dkc tie uh, a banana knit scarf and a uh, banana knit hat and then also win a hundred dollar eShop gift card so be sure to get those donations and if you have any questions for ryan the runner um that donate and ask those as well because uh we'll read them live and he'll answer to the best of his ability like i'm gonna pop a question who's your favorite kong <laughs> <laughs> it's always been diddy for me diddy yeah diddy's Part great so why i also run this game too <laughs> yeah diddy's great I... all right so i love diddy but i am a funky kong fan that guy is hilarious <laughs> that's a, that's a really good thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah tropical I, tropical freeze is my favorite dkc game but then dkc2 is immediately after that nice. so yeah, yeah yeah tropical freeze looks really good i, I haven't played it because i don't have a wii u but i really wanted to play it. i know I, I don't know if it's like uh because uh, i know it's on the switch as well now um so i haven't tried it on the switch but i i loved playing it on the wii u's it was, it was so fun nice I, I do listen to funky ASMR on the regular. Thank you, James. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to swap, uh, to do the goal swap. So here's Dixie now. <laughs> so yeah, this fight is uh, quite a snooze fest. So <laughs> not that much to talk about. I'll try to do a uh, quick hit. Oh, I already filled one of them. Try to, do the, uh, try to show off uh, some of the quick hits, but I'm not... Like, too well practiced in it. And I usually don't go for it in runs because uh, it saves like such a small amount of time and I like fail it pretty often. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I don't know why I turned around there, but sure. But I'll, I'll work on it with practice eventually. Yeah, I like that. So, because how Dixie pulls her hair, hair back when, uh, when she's uh, throwing objects, so she uh, her hitbox extends quite a bit, um, so you can uh, just throw it immediately as he lands. But you have to make sure that he uh, that you uh, get to his backside, otherwise he'll uh, break your barrel. Oh no! Like that. <laughs> kind of had him in a bad position, and uh, he was chasing after me. So yeah, uh, not really much else to talk about for this uh, fight. It's uh, generally a bit over a minute and a half in runs, so... Uh. <laughs> Definitely, like you said, a snooze fest of just <laughs> avoiding. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of the bosses in this uh, game are pretty trivial once you've... Uh, usually once you've uh, beaten them like a couple times, uh, even mm -hmm. like casually, so... Um, I guess you can kind of hurt yourself by trying to go, <laughs> trying to go too fast. That's about it. But uh, generally, they're like pretty easy, uh, especially compared to like Donkey Kong Country Three. Um, the game definitely has uh, some harder bosses, and uh, in the speedrun setting, like definitely a lot harder. So, yeah, swapping Kongs there by taking damage and get shoes again. Squitter. Love shoes. <laughs> And um, I have to remember, uh, I was <laughs> I was about to do a uh, the same trick that I did in Jungle Jinx called the the scrolly scroll. I was about to go for it again, but I forgot that you're not supposed to do it in this category because uh, you need to get this DK coin in this area. So otherwise, you would leave Squitter behind, and uh, if you do that, then you're gonna have to intentionally take a death to uh, get that DK coin. Oh, oops. Uh, well, I'm going slow, I guess. <laughs> uh, normally, if you uh, know where you're going, you can uh, dismount off of the squitter to jump over that beat. I kind of forgot and hesitated, so. 
Probably would have uh, just lost Squitter if I, or uh, lost the uh, Diddy if I. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, again, since I did <laughs> just did a marathon run for uh, any percent, then uh, <laughs> I've been kind of uh, forgetting my muscle memory a little bit and like thinking in between like <laughs> both categories. Alright, so, team throw on the hook. Uh, so, I'm glad I, I didn't forget to uh, revisit this level, because there's two bonuses at the start of the level on the hook above. And then, yeah, there's another bonus on top of the first bonus, which is <laughs> uh, pretty clever when you think of it. Think about it. <laughs> and um, one of my old uh, personal best times, uh, I think my second PB ever. I uh, forgot to revisit this level, so when I went to uh, uh, Clubba for his... Uh yeah, for his Lost World level, then I forgot. Um, I was one coin short because of that. But anyways, there was a donation, so... There was, and that was a $50 donation from Vidya James. Thank you very much, Jamie. Yo, let's go, James. <laughs> James. <laughs> I definitely said the gamer name. The, he yeah. is the gamer name. <laughs> any, uh, but yeah, any, uh, message? Uh, no comment, uh, but he'll probably say something in chat. Yo, he's an, he's an active chatter. Yeah, definitely the homie. Um, definitely the homie. Yeah, he's the one who, uh, reached out to me about, um, side quests when i when i mm. ran for that um yeah he uh hit me up in a twitter dm because he was like yeah i know that you run uh multiple games and uh do links awakening dx and uh mm -hmm. and randomizers for it as well so yeah if you want to do runs or like try and get like a, a group of people to uh to run with you then be much appreciated so i was like all right cool yeah, I've noticed you've uh, you've heavily jumped into speed running quite a bit by just taking on a variety of different speed runs, which has been really cool. You want to kind of talk about that real quick, like all the speed runs you do, because it is a lot of speed runs you've been just going absolutely hamburgers with this this past year. Yeah, I've learned uh, five speed runs in total. Um, I've also learned a lot of like categories, like for most of the games too. So. Um, yeah, first I learned uh, Super Mario RPG because uh, my friend uh, Pidge. I oh, love Pidge. Pidge is great. Yeah, she's she's the homie. She's the homie. I've, like known her for like a really long time through the uh, Smash community as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, back when she was uh, competing in Brawl, and uh, yeah, I was still oh, competing wow. in Melee. <laughs> yeah, back when Brawl was the main game. <laughs> I met Pidge through Jamie when I went to my first major at Gommel. I believe it was 2015 or 16, I can't remember. But uh, Pidge was running the 64 brackets and everything, and that's how I know Pidge from 64. Uh, it was <laughs> and then Super Mario. Sure. Or, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off, but yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah you're great. But yeah, Pidge <laughs> is great. <laughs> yeah, so she saw me uh, doing a casual playthrough of Mario RPG in... Um... 2018 and then like april 2018 and then she offered to teach me the speed run she, she's talked about it like heavily throughout the years so mm -hmm. she's like yeah i can teach you it's like really easy to learn so i said um yeah like i'll oh shoot what am i doing <laughs> i was thinking of the wrong category for a moment uh yeah uh i was like yeah like i'll take you up on it when i have like uh more free time and then I was sponsored for Smash Bros. Melee at that time for about a year and a half. And um, uh, fortunately, my uh, sponsors had to declare bankruptcy. Uh, you know, they didn't get a uh, contract to work out uh, with an investor. So uh, so when that happened, I wasn't like traveling as much for events um, in 2018. So then around July that same year, then I hit her up and I was like, yo, uh, I'll take you up on that uh that offer if you're still down and she's like oh oh heck yeah so <laughs> um 
Yeah, I went to her place like four times, and she was uh, teaching teaching me in person uh, how to do the run. Uh, it was like over the span of a month, because um, I went like twice in like one week, but then uh, Super Smash Con 2018 happened in between, so I learned the uh, other half uh, after she came back from uh. from uh, Smash Con. So then, um, yeah, so then I was just like practicing like the stuff that she taught me uh, until I could learn like the next part of the run. And then, um, yeah, I, I think I improved like somewhat quickly in that game. And uh, yeah, I ran it like really heavily for like a year and a half. And then, so now, now I'm like on and off, like uh, I'll, I'll come back to grinding it occasionally. But at some point, I'm gonna try and push further to drop my PB down by like two minutes or so. Wow, nice. And then, yeah, the pandemic happened. Uh, <laughs> fast forwarding to 2020. <laughs> oh, the fanfare, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, 2020. So, um, I actually tried to submit Mario RPG for uh, Voidathon, but also uh, Just Incredible, the world record holder for Mario RPG, he also submitted. So, obviously, he would get picked as, like, you know, the best player at the game. Mm -hmm. So, um,. After that, I was like, well, if I'm going to, like, uh, clash with, like, other other runners, then I'll try to... Oh my god, I'm going to fail this bonus. <laughs> I got to do it again. I, I actually forgot where I was going. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's a new one for me. Yeah, so then, um, so I was like, all right, I'm going to learn learn some new games. Because also, um, I've been... There were so many games that I wanted to learn, but just, like, never took the leap into learning it while uh, learning them so then i learned uh gimmick in uh may like late may 2021 or uh, 2020 sorry and then uh that game i ran for about two and a half weeks which i ran uh pretty much all the categories at first i was only interested in best ending glitchless but then um i Decided to, yeah, I decided to learn the other categories when I uh, hit my uh, short-term goals for uh, for each category. Then I would, like, move on to a new one. Then uh, I didn't finish all of my goals for that. But then um, shortly after, uh, early July, uh, a runner from the Link's Awakening DX community, who also did the commentary for uh, the race at SideQuest mm -hmm. uh, that I did with uh, Astronomous, uh, yeah, so Phantom Matt was like, okay, we're gonna have a summer... Uh, I was actually in, like, a Mega Man Battle Network speedrunners, uh, stream, and then I, uh, was just, like, randomly talking about how I like Link's Awakening DX a lot, and then, um, Phantom Matt was like, yeah, there's actually a tournament coming up, uh, for the summer for 100%. So, um, it's pretty easy to learn, so, uh, I definitely recommend, uh, trying trying your hand at it so well made sure not to forget cranky as dna pointed out earlier <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah so i learned learned the run like three weeks before the tournament so uh like i was i wasn't very good so there's like a that's a bad death uh this level is really easy to die but it, it happens D dna can definitely tell you in chat how rough it is to try and go fast in this level but yeah so yeah there's a swiss bracket or a swiss round uh four rounds of swiss that's what i meant to say <laughs> and um yeah so i went 2-2 two, two in swiss and then uh there was actually a six-way tiebreaker for um because like the top eight uh the top eight runners uh in the swiss were advanced to a single elimination top eight bracket but for the last two spots, there was a six-way tie, so... Oh, we played, <laughs> we played the six-way tiebreaker for for the last two spots to make it into top eight, but I got a fourth out of the six-way tiebreaker, so I didn't make it. So, for your first tournament, like, and just learning it within two months is pretty great. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a blast, like, competing in the tournament and, like, when I learned the run, then... In total, I... Play the game like 
47 days out of like 50 consecutive days. Oh my god. Yeah, especially when you're not really working during COVID, then <laughs> mm -hmm. what, what, what better sort of do, right? The, the grind is always good, especially if you're taking a break from other games. When you learn something new and you, you're so dedicated to it, it's great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I was so burnt out from playing it after I played like <laughs> nearly 50 days in a row. <laughs> Then I didn't play the game for like a month. Then I learned uh, any percent, no wrong work, no out of bounds, which was mm. the category that I raced with Astronomus for side quests. Um, so I ran that for like a week, and then I stopped to work to. Uh... Oh, what am I doing? This is bad. All right, I have to. See, is there anything I can do? Oh no. I have to take a death, I'm pretty sure. I, I messed up badly on that movement to get the... <laughs> to get the DK coin at the end. So it was either... Either I would have to start from the beginning of the level, or to... Uh, uh, just die and start at the mid midpoint. Yo! Oh my gosh, another donation. <laughs> Yeah, we got a, a fifty dollar donation from Tall Show. Fitty for Danky Kang. Thank you very much for the fifty dollar donation. <laughs> Wait, did it say fifty dollars or fifty? It was fifty dollars. Yeah. Oh, dope. <laughs> Thank you again so much for the donation. I mean, regardless if it's fifty or fifteen. But... Yeah, any amount uh, really helps out. Um, just ten dollars uh, delivers happiness to ten seriously ill children. That's a huge thing with the Scarlet. They really try with all their programs to make sure kids are having a great time while they're in an uncomfortable setting, <laughs> trying yeah. to get better. So, again, also like mental health is so important. So like, you know, just being able to like make kids happy, like, mm -hmm. you know, when they feel better, it's like uh, it's gonna definitely go a long way in the future. Very true. Um, like kind of a personal story um when my sister had to be in the hospital when she was um uh, younger uh she was there for like three years at pittsburgh children's hospital and they didn't have any kind of cool programs like that it was it was very boring and not great and like we had to always just make sure like we brought something in so these programs like the starlight program are just absolutely incredible for making uh horrible times for kids just seem better like have something to look forward to every day um so it's really awesome indeed also yeah just like feeling good when you're recovering like will also likely help to like oh 100 recovery rather than being like depressed or bored or something you know mm -hmm. and especially yeah, when you're young it's easy to get yeah. words <laughs> hospital, like i had to go to a hospital like i think three years ago i had to be there for two days that was awful there was nothing to do like bad tv shows on sitting bored like <laughs> <laughs> if i'm that bored i cannot imagine being a kid in a hospital having nothing to do Ugh. exactly yeah it's fortunate oh that didn't work yeah. uh, i tried to do a second invisible object there to uh be able to skip this auto scroller but i'm going through the auto scroller now <laughs> i got the first one to work but uh second one i i definitely had like bad movement uh, part way through so we love auto scrollers and speed runs they're so fun <laughs> they're usually uh the perfect place to read donations but <laughs> oh 100 percent. yeah definitely get those donations and if you have any questions or if you want to talk about how much you love dkc2 auto scrollers <laughs> oh my god i have to actually not die now because i got hit <laughs> uh, that was a uh, epic error all right, got past the uh, goalies as well. It's two uh, plobbers that like to try to bounce into the spikes below. So, yeah, there is a little bit of uh, faster strats you can do for this bonus. That saves a very small amount of time. But, uh, I haven't practiced them recently, so I'm not going to go for it. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? <laughs> well, looks like you can see the bonus again. <laughs> I probably like killed someone's ears when I like yelled that too. 
All right. Well, since I have like a two hour time slot, like honestly, uh, I get I can probably. Great. <laughs> probably You're doing fun. great on time. You're perfect. No worries. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely like. I have a lot of buffer room to mess up like, like everything and still probably be uh, well within the time slot. <laughs> the, the great thing about uh, Zelda Thon and fundraising and wor working with us is, hey, you doesn't I don't care. You're doing great. <laughs> you're, you're, you're having a good time. We're having a good time. Awesome. Chats having a good time. So <laughs> yeah, as long as long as everything's going great, dude, we're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, sir. So no worries. We're not a GDQ. We're we're we're, we're like you. You need this run as fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like that about marathons where um. Yeah, it's not really like much of a time pressure since, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, usually we have like a general estimate of like what we, you know, to, to just to, just in case like the worst happens in runs. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, since I'm not going for like a PB attempt, I feel like I don't really have like pressure um, or like self imposed pressure as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, like I've done a couple commentary, uh, commentary segments for GDQ, and I'm even pressure. I'm, I'm feeling the stress, and I'm like, I'm not even playing. I'm just talking about the game and <laughs> making jokes. I'm feeling pressured, so <laughs> I can't imagine what it's like to be a runner. <laughs> My SGDQ run this summer was it was pretty chill, but mm -hmm. I did have like a really, really, really bad error on that run for uh, gimmick, uh, best ending mm. glitchless. But uh, fortunately, I did the uh, backup strat to not lose too too much time, so I, I was still below estimate, barely. But <laughs> I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of DMs about for like compliments and stuff about the run. Um, a lot of European awesome. people were watching too, because uh, nice. It was uh, early in the morning, like in Eastern time, it was like 9 a.m. So mm -hmm. it was a pretty early run. So fortunately, uh, a lot of West Coast uh, friends that wanted to watch uh, couldn't since it was like six in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Granby, <laughs> there it is. Good chat again. <laughs> I got the death jump though. Um, after already dying on a on the easy part. <laughs> but yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess it's quite a bit of a uh, backtrack. And oh wait, actually, first off, uh, so since I'm playing this game on version 1.0 for this category, King Zing moves really, really slow. Uh, yeah, in 1.1 and all the uh, later revisions, they uh, made him faster, but uh, this one he's like extremely slow. Also, the uh, next boss uh, in the next world also is like slower than normal, or slower than in uh, later versions. Which actually can cause you to have a soft lock because it's uh, really slow. But uh, as long as I remember, then I shouldn't be at risk to soft lock. It's always Rambi's fault. Even if I like jumped really late that time, I'm still gonna blame <laughs> Rambi. <laughs> but yeah, about the whole like speedrunning lore. Um, yeah, I learned this game in. I started learning this in February 2021, so it's been like a little over half a year. And um, I actually spent like a week and a half uh, practicing this game before I actually did my first run because I never felt ready because the game felt like just difficult to grasp everything. It's definitely easy to grind though because um, since there's like very little RNG in the run, then um. Mm -hmm. It's easy to like practice like anything that you have trouble with. So like, and now I feel like the game's a lot easier to run. No, it's still really easy to lose a lot of time like everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's a, a lot of tricks. It's kind of all or nothing. It's like either you save like one second or you lose like fifteen seconds, like kind of thing, like pretty often. And uh, depending on like how uh, fast you want to go with strats, then like you know. It adds the difficulty when you're trying to like shave off even like 0.3 seconds and like with the strat. So uh, trying to go for the top level, um, the top level uh, gets like increasingly more difficult uh, mm -hmm. as you keep trying to go further beyond. 
the nice thing about the these games like the, the trilogy and all the other donkey kong country games is uh once you have it beat you can always just grind specific levels and parts and that's what i did a lot of uh for dkc was just constantly grind the first like three levels just back to back to back just to get my rhythm down and these games are really good for that i rolled too early are you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since i made that mistake particularly but <laughs> uh sometimes that happens i think i was just a little too excited to like go for that trick <laughs> and then i just <laughs> jumped the gun oh wait why did i visit cranky <laughs> i forgot i visited him already <laughs> You just wanted to say hi. It was important. <laughs> Gotta hug Very your grandpa. <laughs> Always hug your grandparents. Yeah. So, uh, so he asked about the games uh, that I run. The last one's Metroid Zero Mission, which I learned uh, at the end of March this year. Um, oh, I had, really? Yeah, I had like five days of work. Um, It was... I worked a total of like 60 hours in like a five-day work week. And, Ooh. um... Since it's like a freelance job, this work as a film extra for like TV shows, movies, commercials. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah, the, um, there's a there's sometimes there's a lot of downtime, so I had my uh, Game Boy Advance SP with me, so I like learned the speed run uh, during breaks while I was for uh, three of the five days at work. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that's uh, rough right now is that like the covid stuff is like really restrictive with like finding work mm, so, yeah just been chilling for the most part during this uh year and a half of uh like quarantine and stuff mm -hmm. yeah no i'm feeling that too i'm usually uh traveling to conventions all the time mm -hmm. and events and talking about charity and creating of live events and big chilling in my apartment in las vegas that's all i've been doing uh grinding new games and still working online <laughs> oh, yeah y'all moved to vegas eh? yeah we, we moved i'm we moved uh in october last year so almost a year i've been here yeah um i think connor was tweeting about it when you're uh going to move I yeah if it was twitter or if it was uh facebook posts what, what are the other probably ones? twitter i don't know he, he 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 has multiple ways of communicating on the internet that i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but um you know vegas is great but uh it's that we're it's definitely nice uh where we're not have to like go to the strip or anything like that or force like we live on the west side and and residential areas so people stay away which is nice <laughs> but um yeah it's good here it's hot it's different. so hot in Vegas, oh my god. Went for yeah, uh, what? <laughs> Evil 2017, it was like, brutal. <laughs> yeah, I, rem uh, I think it was, yeah, 2017 I was at? We, I got a, uh, we didn't leave the hotel really, and I had my car with me, which was great. So I parked valet, and I texted them like when I was coming to pick up the car, and they had like the AC already blasting for me, pulled up the car. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> I don't have to deal with this 115 degree heat. But yeah. the one thing I really like is is no humidity, because I uh, I used to live uh, 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 next to Lake Erie. Um, so it would just be very humid in the summers and super cold. So it's definitely something I, to get used to. <laughs> I forgot the DK coin. I have to do the whole level again. Uh, <laughs> Any percent muscle memory, kind of. <laughs> just took over there. <laughs> but anyways, I, I I was still listening. So. <laughs> oh, you know you're. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely an experience living out in Vegas. Yeah, um, I, I, I definitely can attest to how brutal uh, humidity can be. Like, Yeah, you're tor uh, Toronto, around yeah. that area, yeah? Yeah, Yeah, I live in Toronto. It's like, oh, even today when I went out, it was like, really hot. Uh, to grab lunch, uh, yeah, I just wanted to eat before uh, these two marathon runs that I, that I was planning to do today. Mm-hmm. And yeah, even in the morning, it was, like, humid. Like, uh, it's when I saw that the temperature... Oh, whoa. <laughs> temperature said, uh... Uh, 
it was like 19 degrees uh, Celsius. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not American. <laughs> and freedom numbers. <laughs> hey, you call it freedom numbers too? <laughs> I always well, say that as a joke. I, I, I'm, I'm friends with so many Canadians. They call it freedom money, freedom numbers. I just get used to it. <laughs> Jamie, Monica, that's what they call everything. <laughs> so I, I'm used to the vocabulary. <laughs> All right, I said Jamie uses it too. <laughs> he knows the Canadian way. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time I saw Jamie in person was... Oh, well, I saw him at Mango's birthday bash, actually. I guess that was like four months before quarantine happened. I really forgot that was a tournament. That feels like years ago, <laughs> like multiple years. <laughs> I know, that was like December 2019, so like... Oh, that feels even longer than that. It's like not even two years yet, mm -hmm. but it feels way longer than that. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I saw him there, and I think the other time I'd seen him before that was, uh, I went to a tournament in, uh, Kingston, Ontario, and, uh, car pulled back, uh, back with him, so. Actually, he was talking about zelda -thon during that car ride member particularly it's the <laughs> very first time i'd ever heard of it also he, this taking damage here was really really bad so <laughs> i actually do need diddy i think to uh get into the bonus barrel <laughs> oh my god i've never had to like backtrack this far before <laughs> this is new <laughs> all right whatever so it's a really generous two hours for this run <laughs> It takes something slow. <laughs> Alright, glad that I didn't uh, mess that up. Because going backwards, especially with the wind, is really awkward. So <laughs> I've never had to do that before. Nintendo games love their wind physics in all their games. Like in the Mar or like Mario Brothers Lost Levels, it's insane. Yeah! Like, that game's just so hard. It's like everywhere uh. in that game, too. Yeah, it's just insane. Yeah, Mario Bros. 2 is like the first Mario ROM hack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just Kaizo everything. So awful. <laughs> yeah, that game was pretty brutal. Like, I got it... Well, yeah, like most North American people, I, I played it first through um, Mario uh, All-Stars. All-Stars? Yeah. Yeah, and like... Dude, I had a lot of like crying and complaining while playing that game as a kid. Like, <laughs> that game was, was rough. And they made it easier in, um, like, Lost Levels a little bit, because you have... You start off with, like, five lives instead of three. Mm-hmm. Though, at least you get to continue when you game over, instead of, like, you know, having to Going start back. World 1. <laughs> yeah. It's such a brutal game. Oh, it's... Like, that... I remember playing it... Like, just trying to beat it, I think, a couple years ago. And since I played Smash... Like, I, I, I can use the controller complaint even more now, because controllers just go bad in that game even worse. So now I'm always like, is my controller going bad? Like, am I really this bad at this game? Or is this a controller issue? <laughs> so I always find myself just blaming a, a pro controller or something like that. <laughs> controller Johns for old games, you know. I will tell you, uh, I, I, I think it's uh, finding a SNES controller that feels good is is impossible. I feel a lot of the time for, uh, for games like this, it is so hard to get that right like feel. So, ugh. yeah, that's like one most... reason I can't run games like this because I have to find the perfect controller. I feel. I feel that, <laughs> like, there's uh two controllers uh, that I have out of like five that i i just i can't play this game on entirely mm -hmm. and um i also use a snes controller for uh metroid zero mission speedruns and like i feel like all of my controllers are like bad for that game Oof. there's like one is one there's like one issue or another like depending on which controller i'm using so I'll, like mm. consistently have trouble with like one thing with one controller and then it'll be fine on another controller but i'll have like different issues so yeah, when I was times... playing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go. On. No, you're good. You're good. You can go. Die. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I went a little too fast there. 
It's the name of the game. Sometimes you go a little too fast and it can oh, pass yeah. you. But yeah, um, yeah, with zero mission, a lot of times it's like with vertical inputs that I have issues with. And then mm -hmm. for this game, uh, since you don't really need verticals for that much for stuff, that it's like, like the c current controller I'm using now is like fine enough for this game, but for zero mission, like I find it like unplayable. Like I use a different controller for zero mission. A different mm. SNES controller, even. So. Yeah, that's what I was doing with. Uh, so I used to learn Yoshi's Island. I just practiced that game every once in a while, and then when I was learning uh, Super Metroid, I had to use a completely Ooh. different controller. Like I had to start looking because it was, it was so bad. Because I was like, why is this Yoshi controller so bad for this game? <laughs> like <laughs> I, had a, I had a markdown on which controller, um, and then since like playing Smash, it's the same thing. Like GameCube controllers, like oh my goodness. Yeah, like, it's, it's a nightmare. Oh, I'm like semi-famous for like complaining about controllers like early in melee, but now like everyone, <laughs> everyone now complains about controllers. So it's like <laughs> definitely uh, history has definitely changed. Where a lot of people are telling me that it's in my head all the time, like, <laughs> complaining about a controller. That's funny you say that because uh, Connor was telling me. A couple weeks ago that he was like one of the first Marth haters ever and everyone's like, oh, that matchup's not that bad. And now everyone complains about Marth. <laughs> it's just Con the... Connor's the innovator. <laughs> yeah, he, he, I know the two things he's innovated, the Miyam theory and <laughs> hating Marth. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I've been, I've been like all right with Marth, but like, yeah, uh, he's... Oh, what am I doing? This movement is not acceptable. <laughs> All right. Uh, this should. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll get it this time. We'll get it this time. <laughs> I believe. I believe. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah. Uh, for for myself with uh the Marth matchup in melee. Um, I was fortunate enough that I had two different consistent training partners uh, that made Marth, and they both had like pretty opposite playstyles. Mm. So I think that's why like I'm known to be like pretty good versus Marth, like even now. And it's uh, yeah, thanks to the help of others, pretty much. All right, so got the fast cannonball to <laughs> get that to the bonus. <laughs> I was like trying too hard to make it work, and then uh, once I messed up, I was trying way too hard to fix it. <laughs> Just ended up a uh, dying monster. Uh, normally, what's intended is for you to uh, the the cannon. He'll shoot a slow, a really slow moving cannonball, but it's like really slow. So, uh, so then you'll have like ample time to uh, get back across. But um, yeah, you can still. It's faster to use the fast cannonball. Also, that really sucks. <laughs> so sometimes when you shoot a web, uh, for whatever reason, sometimes like, so it's supposed to be like, so when you shoot a third web, when you have uh, two of them active, then the first web you shot is supposed to start disappearing. But for whatever reason, sometimes the second one you shot will start disappearing. So that happened to me. So I had to move and then I got hit because uh, Pretty much had to choose between like dying and just taking damage so obviously taking damage is uh, better than than a death <laughs> but anyways yeah uh i gotta not miss that uh dk coin there it uh that dk coin shows on the goal for uh rap i think it's 11 frames so it's like a very very short amount of time like a video I watched, they said it was like uh, 0.11 seconds for uh, how long that, that uh, the coin shows. So if you fail that, you gotta do the whole level again, so it's like two minutes. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I had to like really like laser focus on like hitting that. <laughs> and yeah, Curl 2 is another instance of RNG, so I'm hoping that. This barrel. Okay, cool. I got the the right one. Hoping that it wouldn't spawn on the left on this phase because it wastes a lot of time. 
And I remembered not to go too fast on this part, because um, when you shoot out of this barrel, then uh, because Crow moves slower on version 1.0, you'll bonk into him and end up like below uh, below this part of the level that I'm standing on. And uh, you can't get out. You're like actually soft locked if that happens. In 1.1, uh, because he moves faster, then uh, you don't have a chance of that happening, I think. But uh, in 1.0, it's uh, very easy to go too fast and just uh, soft lock and like kill, kill your run. Because uh, if you haven't already beaten the level, then um, you have to. Uh, you can't press start and select to exit out, so you have to actually reset, uh, reset the console. So had to actually make sure to remember. <laughs> Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, this bonus also is... <laughs> uh, it's so easy to be short a couple stars. Oh, I'm short a couple stars. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I walked right into that one, too. <laughs> oh, no! Alright, sometimes on guard, uh, if you're close enough to an enemy, he'll try to, like, auto-attack them, so... You try to auto-attack that, uh, pufferfish, uh, right as it exploded, so I got hit. I wasn't trying to attack it, but, uh, on guard had, uh, other plans for me. See, I didn't know that when I was, like, playing through this game. I was like, what is go- what is going on here? Why is he just auto-going, targeting everything that I'm too close? <laughs> yep. Him and Rambi both do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, which can be nice, but it can also uh, be bad, because uh, sometimes sometimes you'll take a hit from it trying to, uh, from them trying to attack, like, and you know, they get hit during their, like, small uh, vulnerability before they actually attack. So yeah, it can uh, <laughs> occasionally be a detriment. See, I really don't want to fail that bonus, because uh, I don't know if you can even like backtrack to uh, do it again. Or if I would have to have uh, died and then do uh, mid-barrel. Oh, I was forgetting map movement there. <laughs> Ignore what you saw, me dancing back and forth. <laughs> see, you don't have to call yourself out like that. You can say, alright, so check this. Did you see that? That was optimal movement. <laughs> Very important for the setup. All planned, baby. <laughs> oh, that's all. Yeah, no one knows. There might be some professionals in chat, but most of the people are like, what did he do? I don't understand. It must be important. <laughs> then they'll do it in their runs when they practice. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so bad. <laughs> Alright, that was the uh, penultimate time that you'll see Rambi in this run. <laughs> Less the better. Less chances that I can... Okay, honestly, I've been dying a lot, so... But it'll still lower my odds of dying, I hope. If I don't have Rambi. Strategic <laughs> deaths you took. You did some strategic deaths that helped the run, so... <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, in this category, that's the last time we'll see Rambi. Hey. <laughs> I forgot. See you later, uh, Rambi. I was thinking about the any percent read. Do I, uh... Wrong warp in Castle Crush. Uh, you'd have a brief glimpse of Rambi, but yeah, we don't do that in this category. Because uh, I think first off, it only works on version 1.0 to do that wrong warp. So uh, I think it would just like crash the game if you do it on 1.1. Okay, so you can skip that barrel with Squitter, but uh, you're kind of like threading the threading the needle, so. <laughs> uh, it saves like three seconds, but uh, if you miss by going too high, you'll uh, fail the bonus and have to redo it. So, I wasn't confident in my <laughs> ability there, so I just didn't bother. I know I I do have like, I did have a practiced, like, uh, practiced movement to get it consistently, but I, again, because I haven't run this game in like a couple months, then uh, and I did, I did do some practice, like, before actually jumping into this run, but... Um, when I tried to do actual run attempts uh, earlier today, uh, I never made it past World 3, because I was too reset happy. 
I probably should have not reset, honestly, um, during a lot of those runs, but like, I don't know, Rambi especially kept killing my runs in a uh, red hot ride. Just like messing up control, controlling him or uh, failing the, oh god, failing the uh, flying, uh, flying Rambi glitch. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm dying on like every other level on average death. <laughs> strategic, strategic deaths. Good thing is going off of the game. <laughs> good thing, especially in this category, you have a lot of lives. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's still like 19 left, like even now. <laughs> All right. I don't even. I don't know if I've died like a dozen times yet or not. But it's been a lot. And here was almost another. It, was, uh, it took damage before getting squawks, so uh, I um, yeah, it took damage before getting squawks, so I had to uh, be careful with those uh, dragonflies. <laughs> and uh, there, if you take damage at that point, you can just use your invincibility frames to get through uh, most of the rest of the bees. So. Uh, uh, that it's a lot safer there. Uh, the other time when I died, um, I got hit like really early, so so I couldn't do that uh, exploit because of that. All right, got through the level. <laughs> oh yeah, since I have only one Kong, uh, I guess gotta be careful not to die to that beetle. <laughs> so uh, if you roll from too far back. Um, through the first beetle, sometimes you'll bonk off of the second one and, uh, and yeah, just fall into the pit and die. So you have to actually be pretty careful with it. Oh, I just realized that the, <laughs> the mod was a, was a bot. I thought that was, uh, someone, uh, behind the scenes posting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the bot. <laughs> yeah, my uh, chat screen is like kind of small, so I like only saw the Zelda speedruns part of the name, so I didn't mm. realize it said bot at the end. <laughs> After a couple hours, I'm like taking it in now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like this stage a lot. It's really unique with like just like how your movement is through it. It's really cool. The wind is a gimmick. <laughs> the wind is a gimmick. <laughs> Part three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this level has like some difficult parts. Uh, another one, I'll try. I'll try to show it off, but I actually failed it twice in like the last marathon uh, earlier this afternoon. <laughs> I'm still gonna go for it again. <laughs> Never give up. Ah, oh, I failed it again. Rip. <laughs> So yeah, I called a ghetto B skip. Um, actually, my PB run for uh, any percent that I got like three days ago. Um, so I had a goal of trying to get a uh, 39 in any percent, but I uh, because I decided to try and do that skip and failed it, then uh, I got like a 40.07 because I lost probably 12, 12 seconds to that mistake. Because I'm going to have to go back to Arctic Abyss and get Diddy again. Because uh, we need him for uh, the tricks in Castle Crush. Uh, coming up. No matter what category it is. So uh, <laughs> Even this category, I got to backtrack to get him. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, there's a barrel like near the start of the level, but... But, uh, yeah, it still takes quite a bit of time because of, like, the screen needing to fade in and fade out uh, when you enter and exit the level. And just moving over there, too, this time. Alright, so I should explain about Castle Crush. So first off, uh, if this barrel is laying down on the ground and there's a lot of sprites, uh, it can cause quite a lot of lag. So I'm going to be trying to hold it even though it's uh, risky to hold it because if I hit anything it'll break. But um, I need to use this barrel to get an invisible object so that I can uh, do a goal, goal summon. 
So, uh, yeah, um, exactly as I said, uh, goal summon. I'm going to summon the uh, goal post. Or, well, really get warped to it. Uh, this level is like is the longest auto scroller out of like any of like the whole DKC trilogy. It's like more than four and a half minutes in total. But um, this goal summon trick that I'm gonna do uh, cuts this level down to like a minute and a half roughly. Uh, there's a different wrong warp that we do in any percent, which uh, uses that Randy barrel early on. So. Uh, yeah, that one saves like a minute over this goal summon, but uh... Are you kidding me that it didn't work? <laughs> um, I, I couldn't tell you why it didn't work. Like, it was completely fine in practice when I did the same thing, like, a few dozen times. Just to make sure that I hadn't forgotten how to do it, but... Uh, yeah, that's a massive time loss, because... Now I gotta go through the auto scroller for like a minute and a half again. But oh, well, it, it happens. Uh, oh yeah, it, it's it's it, it. This level is a setup to get to get to that, so it's definitely like exactly. It's you not gotta, super easy. <laughs> gotta keep the uh, barrel again. Um, you're gonna have to visit the level a second time because um, you still need to get like the bonuses and the DK coin as well. Mm -hmm. But uh. Doing it in two visits helps save time because, uh, well, normally would help save time because uh, you're able to exit out after you uh, do the last bonus. Uh, if you beat it once from doing the goal summon. So yeah, hopefully I don't fail it this time. Uh, if it doesn't work again, I might have to actually look up how to do it because, I don't know, <laughs> it, uh, I'm concerned now because, like, that didn't work when I thought it was completely fine. Okay, because this time you're gonna get it. This is the, <laughs> this is this is the try. All right, I got this. I got this. <laughs> it's testing your uh, your ability to get it. <laughs> it's testing you. All right, yeah, it's fine. I got it. <laughs> Perfect. Clappos, clappos, and chat. <laughs> Yeah, the goal comes up, uh, the goal, if you mess it up, then the goal will get summoned later, and, uh, you'll get crushed, so that's what happened the, the first time. Mm -hmm. Where you get warped up, but you also get crushed. So, by having it, uh, warp you, warp you up, uh, warp you up as fast as it did the second time, um, because it took, because it took damage with Diddy, then, um, you still have the uh, invincibility frames when swapping to Dixie, so uh, that prevents you from uh, getting crushed and dying. Uh, because you're invincible, so you don't take crush damage. <laughs> Which is pretty fortunate, because uh, some other games, like a lot of Mario games, uh, even when you have like those invincibility frames from taking damage, uh, you can usually still get killed by uh, crush damage in most of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a fortunate quirk of this game. Oh, I kind of messed this up. Uh, if you let go of the uh, on guard dash, um, right as you're touching the water, you'll go downwards. So then you won't have to. Uh, you can like just let go of the controller and uh, pretty much like fall into the uh, trend point. All right, so throw your girlfriend. I had to make her cry for speed. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, this movement's bad. My invincibility probably... Oh, there it is. <laughs> the same will probably run out uh, on the bees at some point, but... <laughs> I didn't think it would run out that early. I need to also revisit this level. And additionally, uh, backtrack to uh, Castle Crook. Because I uh, still need to collect... Uh, Uh, collect the uh, bonuses and the DK coin. All right, since so since I've been messing up like literally everything, I'm not gonna do the uh, faster strat <laughs> for this. Uh, 
there is a strat that saves like five seconds, but uh, if I miss it, then I'd have to exit out of the level and try again. So, yeah, not trying to lose like half a minute or uh, lose a minute and a half to do that, trying to save five the seconds. <laughs> safety strats, the most important ones for marathon runs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I've never actually tried the other strat in, in a run. Mm. Or wait, no, I tried it in my first run and then I messed it up and then I was like, alright, I'm not gonna try it again. So I never did it in a run afterwards. So yeah, the same thing currently. So uh, I would like for people to donate and uh, mention uh, what their favorite song uh, is for this game. So we could read yeah, so Read yeah, any up. donation come in. Uh, we can discuss your uh, favorite songs in the game, favorite characters, levels. Uh, we'll we'll rate them. That's what we'll do. Give a solid <laughs> rate. <laughs> or we'll rate your favorite thing about this game. For the most part, I'll probably just be trash talking, like regardless of uh, <laughs> what's picked. Even if it's like my favorite song, I'll find a way to just like trash talk anyway. All right. The Gordon the Gordon Ramsay of DK seats. <laughs> I forgot that there's Rambi in this bonus. Alright, that's the real final Rambi. Heck, that guy. <laughs> and yeah, it's very scary to fail that bonus because, uh, yeah, I would have had to, like, revisit the level again. <laughs> so I also did, uh, did slower strats uh, for that bonus, too. So now I'm gonna do a small skip, hopefully. Alright, cool. So, getting to Squawks early with the uh, big boy there. And, uh, yeah, pretty much need Squawks um, to be able to fly faster than the uh, Crusher coming up so that you can uh, get that DK coin. And when you get rid of him here, you get a TNT barrel for the next bonus, too. Which, yeah, I gotta not fail this bonus or I'm gonna have to take a death and start from the mid barrel. <laughs> Uh, this bonus is really easy, though, so. Um, famous last words. <laughs> yeah, you have, like, a lot of time to react to uh, where to go, and then you can just follow the banana. And then exit out. I'm grabbing the coin. So, Chain Link Chamber. This level has uh, some of my favorite movement um, in this category. So at any percent, um, kind of do like a, kind of like non-trivial wrong work. Uh, it's like not that hard, but it's like easy to mess up. Especially when you're on like PB paces and your like nerves are rushing like this late in the run. But uh, this, you get to do a lot of uh, rope climbing with the chain links. So it, I think it looks really cool when done well. Um, I'm definitely like, Nowhere near great, great at it, but um, I'll try my best. So yeah, these hitboxes are so janky on those last Bs. It's like so easy to fail the bonus by like just barely touching one of them. All right, here we go. So invincibility barrel here. Uh, also, that part gets pretty laggy because of all the Bs everywhere. Uh, messed up slightly, but it's fine. Alright, DK coin. Um, it's actually faster to run on the ground than to use those horizontal ropes, but uh, I keep grabbing them by accident. So, <laughs> so just, just rock with it. Doesn't lose like that much time, but it is a little bit slower. And yeah, this bonus, uh, mostly just want to shoot into the barrels, uh, rather than shooting uh, upwards. And there I did a uh, wall clip uh, after the bonus. Uh, you get perfectly lined up to do it um, when you're uh, kicked out of that bonus. So if you tag and uh, hold left, then you'll uh, go through the wall. Uh, I think you might be able to hold right as well and still do it, but... Uh, since I'm going to the left, I just hold left to make sure that I'm going the right way. 
All right, so Toxic Tower. Um, this level probably one of like my most practiced levels. Uh, well, was probably one of my most practiced levels before I actually started to do a run. Um, there was a top runner that was watching me uh, do my first run, and he was like, "Yo, how long did you uh, practice this? You look really practiced in like this level, particularly." <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, fortunately, the reason that I practiced it a lot was because um, I was talking to Silent Wolf in his stream when I uh, was still in the middle of uh, learning this run, and he was like, yeah, Toxic Tower is really hard. Um, I recommend uh, practicing it. Because I, I was complaining about uh, Web Woods and PCP, and then um, Dark Parachute Panic. And um, he's like, really? You find those, you find those hard? Like, uh... Yeah, uh, I find that Toxic Tower is like a really obnoxious level. So I was like, oh, he, he said that. So <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm a. <laughs> when I get to that part of the uh, video tutorial I was following, then I was like, all right, I'm going to practice it a lot. And the first like 30 minutes, I had like the biggest struggle, like trying to learn the level. And then um, I looked up like vid uh, other videos on. Um, the DK the DKC wiki and um, I decided to copy the MT grip. So oh video. MT yeah 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 MT sys. So I know uh, DNA and MT uh, hang out a lot. So give the shout out. So yeah, I actually do the MT grip, which is a uh, kind of a meme to a lot of people, but uh, it, it actually helped helped me a lot because um. When I was trying to do uh, claw style with those uh, Ratley double jumps, it would like also kind of like kill my uh, my two fingers, my thumb and my uh, right index finger. So I uh, so it helps a lot it helps a lot for me. And also I like also don't really mess up double uh, short hop double jumps much at all uh, while using it. <laughs> I saw that uh void kick emote. <laughs> See, empty grip is getting mean. <laughs> so yeah, this level, uh fortunately this one bonus, uh if I fail it you get put like right back at the bonus, so it's easy. <laughs> uh sorry, it's easy to uh Retry. Whoa, that was already uh, sus. <laughs> All right, easy every time. Wasn't even close. <laughs> so that's when I have a really worrisome moment to just say that it wasn't even close, even though sometimes it was like <laughs> the closest thing. <laughs> so you can actually skip that race. <laughs> I actually failed it in the last marathon run I did too, but. Uh, you can kind of go over the loading trigger of, uh, of that race. Uh, it saves, like, about three seconds, I think, because you avoid the three, two, one countdown, and, uh, the game also, like, freezes for a moment to, uh, switch the music to, to this, so. And, uh, no, I missed the B-ring skip. Oh, I also skipped the mid barrel, so uh, I better not die, otherwise I'm back to the start of this level. <laughs> I believe so, in you. <laughs> I'll go focus. Well, now now's the easy part, so I'm good. But the part with all those red bees and uh, the part after it is like pretty scary, because um, again, while we were all complaining about controllers, um, sometimes I find that I like don't get a down input. So I, uh, cause you can, uh, fly, fly, or like flap yourself upwards, but, uh, at a lower height if you're holding down. So sometimes I'll like go too high and just like crash into the beat cause like down doesn't input. And then additionally, uh, some of the brambles, their hitboxes are kind of janky. Uh, some, some parts, they stick out a little further than they look. Um, there's a whole part on like the wiki. That's like a <laughs> section just titled hitboxes. So when I saw that, I was like, uh oh, I better pay attention to that. 
So yeah, K rule. Uh, this is like nearly three and a half minutes of uh, you know. That, as I said, like most boss fights are pretty trivial. So um, yeah, pretty much just uh, going through the motions like you would casually, except trying to do them a little faster. If DNA or uh, uh, Anakaz knows how to throw uh, the cannonball, uh, the cannonball like further. Oh my God, this is rough. <laughs> Yeah, how to throw the cannonball further, because I've seen it in runs, and I was trying it in practice, and it, like, consistently worked one time, and then consistently wouldn't work the next time I tried. Which, I thought it was that you, uh, release your throw. Or, like, release, like, the button to throw, and then, uh, hold, uh, back, so, like, left or right. It seemed to make it work, uh... Consistently one time, and then it just consistently didn't work the next time I tried. So, <laughs> if they're still in chat, uh, I would love to know the technical info for that. <laughs> the emoji story. All right, Blue Diddy and Dixie get to show it up. Whoa, what is that? What is Dixie doing? <laughs> That, that wasn't uh, intentional at all, but okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I just learned something <laughs> randomly. So yeah, if you like team throw and uh, get, get hit by the uh, ice, then you can uh, keep your blue state without actually being frozen. And then if you swap, you get a... Uh, Yeah, if you swap, then you can make uh, both your Kongs blue. So yeah, you can kind of cheese this uh, purple smoke, which uh, a lot of people the first couple times have uh, difficulty dodging that. But there's a lot of uh, spots you can just stand in and uh, jump straight up. Yo, blue Kongs, baby. And uh, Diddy's fast enough that he can outrun uh, getting sucked if you run against the wall. Uh, Dixie's a little too slow, so you have to kind of, like, reposition yourself further back every time. Alright, uh, there's K rule 1. So, got about two minutes of, uh, big chillin'. Because, uh, <laughs> when the credits start, then the game actually saves. So, uh, when the credits start, I'm gonna reset, uh, the console to, uh, do the last, uh, two levels that I haven't, uh, done yet. Um, I assume that it should still be good for time, but it's like... <laughs> it's been like sort of cutting it close. <laughs> I still think we're good. You have about, uh, what? Eight minutes? Somewhere around there? Nine minutes? Seven okay. minutes? Some, some time. Yeah, enough to squeeze in some levels. Ooh. Yeah, so two minutes for that. Um, assuming Fiery Furnace goes well, that should be another, like, minute-ish. And then... I think final boss is like a bit under a minute and a half so should be good depends on a uh, fiery furnace if i uh, start messing up the big trick a lot or not <laughs> big we'll trick i can't wait i can't wait for the big trick you already hyped it up with the word big <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess since i got all this downtime i can kind of explain it so i'm gonna be trying to do a uh What's it called? The infinite barrel glitch. So, um, so the there's a uh, certain barrels that you can uh, control with your D-pad, and it has like a timer uh, when you enter it. So counting down from like five to zero, I think. And, uh, if you get hit as it's changed, the timer is changing to zero, then uh, the time will stay um, infinitely, and you can re-enter the barrel and uh, have one of the control barrels that you can float around with. Um, You'll have like an infinite timer on it, so you can uh... I'm gonna combine that uh, with a screen wrap as well, which I think only works on version 1.0. Okay, there's the credits. Yeah, so... I'm gonna use that screen wrap to uh... Yeah, screen wrap all the way to the other end of the level. <laughs> at a really fast speed, so... Uh, I think that level normally is like more than two minutes, but uh... 
gonna get there like in a only like a few seconds if I uh, do it correctly. Uh, there's a pretty reliable setup for uh, doing the uh, infinite barrel glitch. So that's really the part that that's mostly a concern for me, but uh, should be fine. Uh, I'm going to blame my D-pad on that one. <laughs> should work still. Oh. Alright. Famous last words for me. Said how it would be fine, but I, uh... Ah. Alright, so... Gonna play it safe and, uh... Exit this world, get Diddy back, and then, um... <laughs> Go back into the, the level after. My my hubris for this trick, I guess, got the better of me. <laughs> so uh, it's another one I practiced uh, quite a bit before uh, I started doing uh, runs again. So thought it was going to be good enough. Uh, I think this is not going to work, is it? Yeah. For some reason, the, I think I was going a little too slow and the Cutlass didn't see me. So he uh, took longer to run over there. So he got to the uh, spot later. The spot where I needed him to be later. Alright, let me try again. Alright, this is it. This is the, the We got this this time. <laughs> Alright, this one I definitely got. Yep. Yeah, the very first one I feel I messed up because, like, it was weird. I started moving up in the barrel a lot for, like, seemingly no reason. Like, I didn't hold that direction, but I think that's kind of why I got got. <laughs> Impossible trick. <laughs> DNA knows. <laughs> so, yeah, at the very end of the screen wrap, I gotta also not miss the shot into the bonus barrel. Otherwise, uh,. Might have to retry this again. Are you kidding me? I missed by like a pixel. <laughs> All right, gonna get that Sonic out of the way. So, is there anything I? Oh, yeah. I gotta get this Cato Nine Tails here to toss me into. All right, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. <laughs> Oh my god, I shot like, like probably like two frames too early. <laughs> so now the next uh, thing is to just not fail this bonus. So I'm gonna be extra safe since... <laughs> Again, I've been uh, prone to messing up like everything, so... <laughs> we in there. <laughs> you got this. You're do you've been doing great. I I've been enjoying this run. I've been watching on the delay, so I'm, I'm getting future things happening before I get to see them, but this run's been awesome. Thank you very much for it. It's been such a great uh, treat. No problem. I was wondering if I was giving uh, <laughs> giving up spoilers since I'm like looking directly, or since I'm talking directly from my feed, and then I would assume that the stream delay was going to be like a few seconds, so yeah no it's, it's it's just funny to just have future content <laughs> where i'm just uh, making gamer noises and then <laughs> yeah i'm just I, i'm like okay what happened i gotta see now <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so finally uh yeah it's the final fight just kind of go through a really long uh cycle of this fight uh fortunately since i'm dixie it's also is a little bit easier uh, if you get your controls reversed, it actually, I find it uh, kind of hard, but um, I think even if I do get hit by one of those purple smokes, I should be fine. Oh well, that was the last one, so, so assuming I don't get hit twice, like, really fast so much, uh, should be, should be time. So I'll call time when the... Uh, uh, DK coin falls onto Dixie and time. Oh, yeah, right. Awesome. Saying it from the it future. Was, 
It is 148.15. We did it. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> Excuse my language there. Oh, oh you're great. <laughs> Awesome run! It was it was a really good blast, and you you, you ended right on time too. It was perfect. <laughs> One forty eight. That's out. hilarious. I uh... <laughs> with, with how how, much, how many disasters happened in that run? I'm surprised that that wasn't like like a one fifty five or something. <laughs> now the run was awesome. Um, yes, thank you very much for the run. Is there anything else you want to shout out or? Yeah. Anything? Um. Yeah. Appreciate that. There was uh, wow. For for my for my for my segment, there was like uh, what like a hundred uh, around a hundred twenty dollars of donations. Yes. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Appreciate that a lot, everybody. Um, it's always cool to support uh, various marathons, various charities. Since like, you know, it's a good cause. And I've been running for a lot of marathons lately, so. Um. Yeah, it's cool to have another one in the books. Um, yeah, Zelda Fun's been great. Like, uh, or like the Zelda Fun like side of it's have been great for these uh, two runs that I, uh, two different runs that I've done. So definitely looking for uh, future uh, future runs as well. Um, oh, we will be reaching out to you. <laughs> for sounds sure. good. <laughs> I'm in the Discord, so <laughs> yeah, and also. Um, yeah, I'll likely be uh, typing exclamation point donate in chat uh, a few times uh, throughout the rest of this event. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, with that, I've been Ryan Ford. Also, uh, yeah, Cappy, thanks a lot for uh, uh, chill for uh, hanging out too. Oh, no problem, no problem. Up next is Super MC Gamer playing Donkey Kong Country Returns. So, woo, be excited for that. <laughs> Nice, nice. See y'all later.